Friends, today's classless bastard is Sean Taria Jones. In 2018, she and her friend Shailen Yeldon, with an acquaintance called Kima, went to meet Daquan Berry. However, he ends up dead. So what happened? Well, let's see what she says. Do I think that you're a cold-blooded murderer? Yes. Do I think? <laughs> do I think your girlfriends who are with you? Are cold-blooded murderers? Absolutely not. I know what cold-blooded murderers are. You sit in the same seat as many of them have. Mm-hmm. Okay? Y'all are young. Very. Exactly. Whole life ahead of you. Very pretty. However, good things happen to bad people. Or bad things happen to good people mm-hmm. sometimes, is what I'm trying to say. And whatever happened that night, I mean, too much technology, too many people out there, too much social media. Right. Too much everything. Okay. Now, yeah, this guy, he's out here selling weed. Yeah. All right. If he wasn't out there selling weed, would he have gotten killed that night? Probably not. Mm-hmm. A lot of times we put ourselves in bad people who get killed, put themselves in bad places sometimes. Not always, but a lot of times they doing something wrong. Yeah. All right. And here you are, three girls. You don't know if you're going to get jacked. You don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Once we work this murder, all right, and we start compiling our information, autopsy, shell casings, evidence at the scene, phone, Facebook, mm-hmm. the whole nine yards, all right, I like to say, when we bring you in here, I say, you can tell the story mm-hmm. for us, or if you don't, when we go to court, I'm going to tell it for you, you know what I'm saying? Yep, all right. Do it all the time. So, regardless of this kid, the 19 year old kid, okay, young kid, all right, regardless of whatever he was, he was still a son. He was still mm-hmm. a brother. He was still an uncle. You know, mm-hmm. uh, he was a grandchild. All right, and nobody has the right to take anybody's life. Do accidents happen? Absolutely. That's why we're sitting here today. Because we have done our homework. Mm-hmm. All right. Because we have Shay on her way in. Mm-hmm. And we have Kima on her way in. All right. And we have your car. We have your car seized. We seized your car today. Yeah. Okay. I've seen that. And I'm like. How'd you see that? How do you know? Well, I didn't see that. They told me when I was sitting on the porch right before I came gotcha. here. We seized your car. And uh, of course, the first thing your lovely boyfriend that y'all. Look, y'all's tumultuous relationship that you have, you know, we're arguing back and forth. So he wants to get that seat on the bus. Mm-hmm. So he says, hey, Sarge, can I talk to you? Mm-hmm. I said, yeah, what you got, man? So we go talking a little private, you know, in the back of the car, and bring him down here. And he said, my lady, my girlfriend, told me and her mother, what happened last night? All right. So what you just said, he told you this today. So he said, I told him this last night. Said said you told, that's what he said. You told your mom and him at the same time about what took place. And nah. I, now, hang on, let me talk. Okay. All right. Because we know that the window got busted out in the car during the shooting because the boy got dragged. You know, he got dragged for a little ways. All right, so the window's busted out in your car. All right, the, I see that the car has been wiped down. It hasn't been wiped down all that good. We have it in our uh, evidence mm-hmm. bay. All right, so, uh, and he said, yeah, it was Kima, and it was my old lady, and he said it was Shay, and he said my old lady's the one yeah, that killed Yeah, it was all together, but no. He said my, my old lady's the one that, that killed him. Why would he say that, and how would he lie and say that I told him and my mom? That means that my mom should be telling y'all the same thing. And he's trying to get himself out of trouble for something. Now, I'm not going to sit here and lie on him and say, oh, my boyfriend did it because he wasn't in the car. He, and he said, since, he, said I mean, he was home with his one-year-old. Yeah, he was at my house. Mm-hmm. So how are you going to say that I told him? Anyways, okay. So I will back it up. Okay. We did go on the train. Mm-hmm. But, like. Uh, just, hey, at some point, we got to grow up. I do understand okay. that. Okay, who, who shot him? 
That's the thing. Nobody had a gun in the car. Somebody did. No, nobody didn't. Yeah, because he got dragged from that car. Uh, not from my car. Yes, he did. No, he did not. How'd you win your bro? Me and Dion was fighting. That's why I'm mm -hmm. trying to figure out why would they tell y'all my window got shot out. Why would Dion say that uh, something totally different? That's what I'm, I don't understand. And then, that. And then he just went to jail today. And why did we get a phone call with a tip that either the night of the murder, after the murder, or that morning that you were frantic and you were seen out there and you either had his blood on you or blood on the car. Either one. I wasn't even, what the fuck, like, bro, no. Okay, let me tell you what actually happened before I continue. Shaylin, or Shay, as they're referring to her as, contacted Daquan via Facebook. She asked him, hey, you got any weed? He said yes. So then, Shantaria, Shaylin, and Kima get into the car and they go and meet him to buy the weed. However, they gave him fake money. He looks at the fake money, right? He goes back into the car and he says, give me my weed back. And that's when someone pulled the trigger. Who did it? Well, keep listening. Let's find out. Turns out, Dion ratted his girlfriend out. Is he right? Let's see. That's <laughs> crazy. It no, is crazy. That's crazy. But you're not right? down here handcuffed to that table for no reason. Right, and no, I wasn't frantic doing nothing. I come outside, daily routine, sit on the porch, smoke my cigarette every morning. Okay. What was frantic about that? Why come outside with blood on me when I was just saying, look at the maintenance man, look at the landlord. Everybody's always in everybody's business. Did you buy weed, there. You buy weed from a boy? No, we didn't get it. This is what I'm trying to figure out. And then I'm hearing that he was set up from somebody named Chip, that he was beefing with somebody about some females. So I guess oh, yeah. they are thinking yeah, that beef. we the females he was beefing about and yeah. we just wanted and, to and, and your man even said he had some counterfeit money. Where would I get it from? The same place anybody would get like they fucking. I've never right dealt with counterfeit you know? money. No. So I'm, I'm just telling you what he's. Y'all must have caught some shit on him. That's crazy. I never thought I would be sitting well, he's in the seat years old. He and be. a story getting flipped on me like that. That's crazy. Like that's really crazy. I mean, you know, uh, somebody loved this kid. I know. You know, somebody loved him. You know. Somebody, somebody and, 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 and that's, that's how, and that's how he was left. That's how he was left. That's not something I would do, bro. And then he talked about, I shot him. Where I get a gun from to shoot somebody? Why am I going to pull up and shoot somebody? Y'all know how many people I bought weed from in Pensacola? Why would all of a sudden this one person be somebody that'll be a target to kill? Uh, With you're, three you're three asking, girls in the car. You're asking me. And y'all asking me. I well, understand let me ask that. You this. Wow. Like, wow. Hold on. And then the weed right there. Man. So I didn't even like. Cinnamon, listen yes, to me. I am. This is just crazy. This is like, what I'm telling you. You're asking me all this. Why would I do this? Why would I do that? Why would you sit in that chair right there, given the opportunity, looking at it in black and white or blue and white, however you want to describe it on this computer right here? Because, like, like, any, like say, anybody. I never went to Trent. I never went to Trent. Because, like, I anybody else, I'm scared as shit. Okay. Like, then, like then, anybody else. Like, okay, seriously. Then, then, then somebody's wanting to be in law enforcement, be in forensic or whatever, then if you didn't do it, then. Hey, Sheriff's Office, I was over there and somebody, I heard a bunch yeah, of gunshots Yeah, but that's stuff. the thing. Did you like, call them? Did you call 911? No. Exactly. So that doesn't make it my fault because y'all basically will only say that it's my fault because y'all seen the interaction between him and my cousin last. And then whatever the fuck Dion just said, which I'm not worried about I, no who I, said I she do said. know that, I mean, I got recordings. Yeah. I got all kind of stuff that I was like, yeah, man, this jet just got fucking. Uh, I, seen on, I seen it on. I seen it on Facebook. I seen the same thing. No, I'm thing. talking. I got a, a audio. Okay. You know. Uh, so. Then it was oh somebody just smoked a jet. Somebody in the silver car. Somebody in the black car. Somebody just oh somebody just pulled up. Then I was in the store. In the store. Oh, it was chips. Somebody had something to do with it. So well, how does all this come down on me? Because your I don't car know, was positively identified by more than. Two people being there, uh, that whenever you took off out of there, and you got to realize that there's video cameras. Everybody got cameras now. Mm -hmm. the, the biggest cameras are with the dopers, right? A lot of dope in Mayfair, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of cameras in Mayfair, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, your car was positively identified and seen on video when you left out of there from Trenton at a high rate of speed with your headlights off and you turned mm -hmm. and you went south on Northview and then took a right on Madison. Yes. And you know the thing about it is, though, 
And remember this. All right? Let me give you a little word of advice. That car that you paid for mm -hmm. has GPS on it. Mm -hmm. So, you saying that's not true? No. I told y'all I was there, but I didn't, like, nobody out of my car shot him. Then but you also it. said you were I there. dragged. Okay, that's because I was scared. And I well, your vehicle was fine, according to uh, your Ryan. When? Before uh, Wednesday night. No, mm -hmm. Ryan wasn't even there Wednesday before Wednesday night. He they stays there with Shay. Listen, I'm not listening to Listen, listen, no, you listen to me. I'm not making this shit up. I'm not been, making it but up. But they have been at my aunt's house. I've been at my house. Okay, but his girlfriend, Shay, stays with you. Correct? Yes, that's and my your cousin. And Ryan stays with you. Mm -hmm. Ryan, your Ryan has his own vehicle. He drives a little red piece of shit forward, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, but he walks by your car every day. He you would know, notice if your damn window's blown out of your car. Would he not? Mm -hmm. We leave different times a day. We're not that kid's a whole lot smarter than you give him credit for. Mm -hmm. He's a whole lot smarter than you give him credit for. Because mm -hmm. he noticed that your window was missing Wednesday night when he came over there. Mm -hmm. He And so does uh, Dion. They noticed your window was missing. But Dion comes up with this whole other story. Well, who the hell gives a shit if Dion broke that window out of your car? Mm -hmm. Who gives I'm a just, shit? Yeah. Why would Dion come up with some bullshit over how that window got broke? Who, why would he come up with a bullshit instead of saying, me and my old girl got into it, and I said, fuck That's it, and I broke the window. what I'm saying. That's like, what I'm saying. But then for him to say that I just told him and my mom, oh, I just, I, what, what did he say? I did, like, this, no, it's not adding up, y'all. It's not making sense. I don't know if he's out there doing something or he's well, about, trying to cover his this? ass for something, how but this, this is, shit is sad. Like, Who can verify Besides Shay. Because it's all and like Dion. he say, she say. Like. I mean, I mean, you have to admit, I mean, if you watch TV, it looks pretty damning. You know, if it walks like a duck, quacks like mm -hmm. a duck, it's usually a duck. All right. Talking to this guy. All right. Saying you're going to want to buy some weed. You can go to Mayfair to meet up with a guy, supposedly. You get over on Trenton Drive. The, one, the last time you text, within mm -hmm. a minute, the guy's dead because we know what time the 911 call comes in when mm -hmm. he's seen. Okay? So, and it's like I said, sweetheart, is that the thing about this, this don't go away. Mm -hmm. I mean, this ain't going to, you, you know, you may leave out of here today, you may not. But we still got some more people that's on their way in to talk. Mm -hmm. Okay? There's a possibility you could be charged. Okay, so I want you to understand that, but I do not believe it was anybody's purpose that night. Th this is just a kid who's selling basically quarterbacks on the street. It ain't like he's moving pounds or keys or anything like that or has got hundreds of thousands of dollars. He don't, mm -hmm. you know, so whether... You pull the trigger, whether anybody else in the car pulled the trigger or whatever, it resulted in the guy's death. And then that's the thing. It don't go away. If Kima was to get charged, y'all all, all going to be charged. If Shay gets charged, you're all going to be charged. You know? Now, it'd be one thing if you would come in and said, well, let me tell you what really happened. We got in there and he tried to rob us and wouldn't give us the weed. It'll be you one know. thing, but it's like if even if I went, took that route, or tried to make that a story, we will all still go to jail because mm -hmm. the fact of the matter is nobody called. When exactly, it happened. exactly. But you know, you watch the TV shows and you, watch, and you watch these same rooms that are everything that's being done because the cameras on. They're judging mm -hmm. the people watching at home, or when it goes to court, they're judging the person sitting there to see. One, are they remorseful? Are they guilty? Do they not give two shits or whatever? Mm -hmm. They're look, are they trying to be helpful? And that's taken into account whether we can't go back to Wednesday at 10 o'clock. That's that day will never come back. It's done. You know, Jaquan's d uh, never be on this earth again. All, all people can do is remember him. That's all they can do. All right. Mm -hmm. But everybody that's on this earth has the ability to right a wrong at any time. 
at any time. So yeah, you're right. I mean, uh, the time would have been to be honest back then, but this first time we've contacted you, you know, and you've come in willingly. So that shows something that you're willing to be here. You know, do I think that you're being a hundred percent honest with me? I've done this longer than you've been alive. Okay. So I'm, I'm old salty guy, you know, so I've heard it, seen it and done it. So the, the, the stuff you're trying to sell me, I'm not buying. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm saying, young lady, I mean, if you have any heart in you, you know, or any iota of caring about just that uh, for human being, you know, I mean, just like if your mom got killed today, heaven forbid, we bust in our ass just as hard for her and you as we are for this family that's grieving and the next person to come along we we work 20 something homicides a year every year and each case is unique and you know we have a saying here you know we work for god because the dead people can't speak mm -hmm. only we can speak for them so we have to tell their story you know we got to find out how they live to understand why they died okay and then because some people say three. You watch first. I say four. Only four reasons for a murder. Okay? Money, drugs, sex, or revenge. Mm, yeah. Okay? That's, all, that's the only thing. All right? So, don't think there's no revenge there. Y'all didn't know this cat. No. Yeah. Don't think there was no sex unless you say he tried to rape you. You know? But there is potentially money and drugs involved. Just drugs. You know? Because money, we have money. So like, here's the and thing. it ain't no counterfeit money. That's what I'm saying. Like I made money. I got I got money on my card right now. I would never. I've never been known. Never ever try to hit nobody with no counterfeit. Like they don't look legit to me at all. So even look at her face. Look at her face. You see how she's smiling. Look at the way she said, "Oh, I have money." This is why I called her a classless bastard. Right. Firstly, who gets violent over weed? Nobody cares about weed anymore. It's legal here in Washington DC. Most people in America now are open to the idea of weed. So why are you even killing someone over it? Like what the hell is that about? But you're paying him with fake money. So how are you sitting there on your ass? Yeah. Telling the police. Again, look at the look on her face. Ooh, I got money. But then you're paying with fake money. Who even has fake money, bruv? The only fake money I see is on Monopoly. Classless bastard. So, so you even try it. So no, that's not money. was not even issue. So... I may come across as an asshole to you, but you come you come across as a very sweet, naive girl. He says he says she say and this, that, and third, but there's no evidence other than her writing him about the weed, mm -hmm. and well, then they saying, "Oh, we seen this car, this window bust out." Like, no, that's all crazy. If y'all seen my car? Why didn't y'all have my tag number? Why weren't y'all let my house? I drove like, why would I do something? I drove my car next day. Like, frantic about what? Scared about what? Well, you watch TV and everything. I, yeah, happened. I know. Everything I happens know. in that hour yeah. on TV. But exactly. what you don't see, that may be days or weeks that they, they all go bring all together. Bring it, yeah, and they to all bring one. it together in that one day. Yeah, I know. Exactly. I know. That's one. So it takes a little while to identify everybody because we have to sift through the bullshit mm -hmm. because a lot of stuff we get is bullshit. We have to decipher what's good and what's not good. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. You know, we can work back and with forensics, mm -hmm. um, with, you know, gunpowder tests, mm -hmm. also with luminol or blue star mm -hmm. to be able to spray that and to black light it and DNA. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all that can be sent off. And then it tells every crime scene tells a story. Mm -hmm. All right. Here are three females. I mean, there are some bad females in the world. I get it. But usually you do not have females that go out to commit robberies. Mm -mm. And then it was anybody. just like people already saying like he's into it with people about, I didn't see all this until after like, you know, on Facebook or whatever. And then it was like, oh, he's beefing about girls. He's beefing about girls. So then like, I wanted to like call Dan and tell y'all that we was that night trying to get me from him or whatever. But I was just like, well, damn. 
if I call him then, and I'm saying we're going to get some weed, and he pop up, then they're going to say we did it. That's why I did not call. Like, we was yeah, like. Yeah, but, but you know, and, and, I, and I say this, it, it's almost like, I don't know, go, go back to when you lived at home, and, and I don't know, I, I used to get in trouble if I had to. If I had bad grades on my report card, mm-hmm. you know, I wouldn't want to, if I had an F, I was going to try to change it to a B because I know mama was going to bust that ass, you know. So, but eventually, you know, they're going to find out, mm-hmm. you know, anyway. So that's why it's just better to be honest uh, sometimes, you know. Um, like I said, hindsight, we, we, we do stuff different. I mean, you're 20 years old. I mean, I do see that nobody, I mean, I, I'd be willing to bet you, whether you admit to it or not, mm-hmm. ever since Wednesday night, you've wondered everywhere you have gone or if you left that house or if somebody knocked at the door or when you got in your car, if a cop passed you, are they going to turn around? Or are they going to do that? I really did, you know? though, because I feel like if I did something like absolutely wrong, then it's okay to feel that way. Like, I still wave at police officers when I ride by. Like, it just, it don't really bother me. It don't scare me. Like, what are you being scared of? And that's what I feel like a lot of people miss up at. They start jumping and fidgeting. Like, I just don't, I don't feel like they look and was like, oh, that looked like the car that was identified. Let's go over there. I feel like Dion was doing something he probably didn't have no fucking business doing and got pulled over in my car. Because he lies. I found it out about him. He lies. Well, sure everybody lies. He didn't want to leave my house. And he lied. He took my keys when I was asleep today. And I woke up and he was gone. He took your kids? No, my keys. Oh. Today. Gotcha. And I was like, I would fuss at him about that. Like, certain different nights out of the week, I wake up. And my car be going. I'm like, what? Like, where you went? Oh, I just went to the store. I just went. And I'm like, dude, it's like 12, 30, 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, I don't even like my car being out. Like, today, he know, I don't have no insurance on my car. This is why I've been at home, like, every day. So I told him, like, no, don't don't drive my car, whatever. So we had went to the store yesterday because it's like running around the corner. And I was coming back in. I ran over a nail. So we had to change the tire right there. So I was already still in the house and shit from then. Then today, he just left. And then it's like, oh, this happened like in the same 15, 20 minutes. He like, hadn't been gone very long? Like, no, he, he had been gone for like an hour and a half, maybe two. I was asleep. Yeah, I was asleep. Me and the baby was in the bed asleep like the baby was. Now, where's the baby's mama? <sighs> she is in Georgia. Is, is she from here? I think so, but I know she lives in Georgia. Wow. She don't have nothing to do with a kid? Yes, she does. This is about to be some shit. Well, he got her and he's supposed to have her? No, he's him, supposed maybe. to have him, but I don't, I don't feel like she would want him at my house. She doesn't like me, of course. Nobody mm-hmm. wants their baby daddy to be with nobody else. They recently, how long have you been with this boy? Like seven months, eight. I mean, you know, I told you what he said. And then that, what's his name? You're Ryan? Ryan, yeah. Yeah. I mean, he said, that, you know, he wasn't with y'all either. He so, wasn't. You know, he said it was y'all three girls or whatever. Um, and, and, I mean, this is the thing. I mean, bottom line is I'm fixing to go check and see if they got her here yet and the other girl and talk to them. I just feel like positive or negative is, like, not going to help me. But, because but there's also, if it was me saying, okay, yeah, I did it, and go through court and go through <laughs> everything or however all that really goes, then guess what? When I get out, now I'm um, a felon, maybe. I'll never be able to work with old people again. I'll never be able to work no, with children again. Like, my life is going to be fucked. Like, I'm not going to be able to do nothing that I'm doing now. That's not totally true. Afterwards. I know you think that, and a lot of people do think that, but I will tell you that. The difference is, is the people that sit here in these seats, all right, all right, most of them have a rap sheet longer than this whole entire room. They've been in the system. You know people that's been in the system. Everything works on a point system. It's what you score out to and all this stuff, right? Now, yeah, you're dealing with, and when it comes to homicide, homicide's homicide. It doesn't get any worse than that. Yeah, and this is what I'm saying. You know, but, hang on. But you're 20 years old. 
now. What does that mean? Because I have a long life to live. I can no. go to jail for 30 years now? No. But, <laughs> you know, but the difference is, the difference is, is if it was just a cold-blooded, intentional, I'm going to kill this guy. We're going out to seek and find somebody to kill or whatever. It was premeditated. Then, yeah, you don't see the light of day no more. You get life in prison or you get... Those are usually the stories I see on okay. Facebook. You had you put it in. All right. <laughs> now, when you talked about if he tried to rob you, and then there's three girls, and y'all got to do something, y'all scared, and somebody's got a gun, and they're like, "Shit, shit, I got to save my girl, or whatever." Boom, 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 get him out of the fucking car, or whatever. If that's how it fucking happened, yeah. Do you go to jail because somebody's been killed? Yes. Exactly. <laughs> you do, but. It's not forever. But it's forever. It is forever. Well, it, 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 you, it, don't, you don't have any, any life after that. Anything like, at 20 years old seems like forever. If I told you that you'd be a millionaire if you went uh, to school for four years, you'd think that four years is forever. Just no. like you thought high school was forever. Or I don't want to go to school. <laughs> or I don't want to have to do chores around the house forever. I don't want to do this or do that. You know, so that's the thing, hon, is I don't think you're bad people, you know, and I don't think, I mean, I've seen I your know, photos, I've me. seen your Facebook, I've yeah. seen you are a typical high school kid out graduating. Can you listen to Yeah, I'm going to have to get a key because oh. I don't have one on my thing, I but I will. Turn it uh, it hurt. You were a typical high school kid two years ago, you know, with your high school graduation stuff. Mm -hmm. And everything else, your whole life ahead of you, ready to get out on your own and make it on your own. Trying to get out of this city. You know, <laughs> exactly, you know. But, like I said, the difference is, you know, if this was a, a theft charge or if this was a bad check or if this was a ticket or a driving violation or burglary or some bullshit, no biggie. But this don't go away. Mm -hmm. I mean, it does not go away. So... Doing any jail time. If I said, hey, if you come and you be truthful, you're only going to do one year in jail. If I could do that, which I can't. But if I could tell you that, nobody still wants to do one year in jail. You know? But I do know, and I've done this long enough, that what I told you about the difference of premeditating and planning mm -hmm. to go murder somebody. And yes, you spend your natural life in, in jail. jail yeah. Versus if Somebody tried to rob you or whatever happened. And the evidence shows once we go through your car, once we go through your phones, once we go through, because we have your boyfriend's phone, we took his phone. Mm -hmm. um, we've already subpoenaed uh, Shay's phone after he tried to say he didn't mean to have that phone. And we think we got the story. And we're going to give you one more shot, to be honest. And to tell us what happened because we know everything that happened now. And why you guys were there. And but we will give you one more shot to tell us. And if you don't, if you want to stick with what you already gave us, then so be it. But we really think that there's something else. There's there's a lot more to it than what you were gonna say. It's like uh, not a lot more to it, but no, it was fast. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, can I can I go home? I won't be able to go home. No, ma'am, you don't want to go home. And she's not either. Who? Yeah. Came on, Shay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It is crazy, but unfortunately, it happened. Hey, it's nothing personal. Good job. I can. It, it is what it is. It it is, what it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. It was done. Like I said, we could hit a reset or pause or go back. I mean, I know you wouldn't heartbeat. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I know you wouldn't heartbeat. So, with that being said, this is your only shot. So, I'm not going to need you to be honest. Like I said, you know, we sat down there and we talked to Shay. We came up and Dion. I already told you what Dion said. So, you know where this is going. Everybody's doing this. Mm hmm. Because nobody wants to get in trouble. I'll take the fall. It ain't taking me. It, ain't taking the it fall, is baby. because. Well, I mean, they, they, they ride and leave. They're going. I mean. Y'all all going to be charged with the same thing. 
My main thing is I, I want to get the gun off the street. You know what I'm saying? And if I was a betting man, the gun come from. You don't mm-hmm. have no gun around. No, I don't. You don't either. It ain't come from him. But... Where'd it come from? Where'd it come from, Sam? Come on now. Where's the I bag? mean, that I really don't know. Who got, well, who got rid of it? Because you know what happened to it once you were done. So, what happened? It to wasn't it? like that. Like, that's how y'all are making it seem. All right, well, how about this? After the incident occurred, what happened happened. What happened to the gun then? I don't know. It just disappeared? It did. I didn't do nothing with it. So, my, what you say? I got rid of you know, came and take it to get rid of it? No. Me, Kim, and Shay stayed right there with each other. Did Shay take to get rid of it? No, Shay. Did you give it to Dion to get rid of it? Did you give it to Ryan to get rid of it? Is it still inside your home? No. I know it was a, a revolver. You yes, know what a revolver is? You seen the cowboy kind? You know the gun that has the cylinder? No. <clears throat> And then you got the square gun. Like the right. police, and everybody racks it and all that crap. So. Like that. Wait. I mean, not exact, but that's one. That's, that's a revolver. Finally, this is now the moment you've all been waiting for. She's about to confess. She's about to tell them what really happened. But let me tell you, I do have the interrogations of Shailen, and of Uriah, and of Dion. But they are 14 hours long. And I'm not going to lie. I was just a lazy bastard and I couldn't be asked to do it. So uh, I've uploaded this video for you now. Give me about a week or so. I'll have the rest of their interrogations up for you. Anyway, keep watching. The confession is coming. Yeah, yeah, so, so this is what happened. Because I'm sure Kimo is like probably pissing on herself. Which did go to get the weed or whatever. And of course, yeah, y'all know I don't want to go to jail. Like, but the body, like you said, it wasn't intentional. He did. Like, he tried to fight Shay. And he tried to take it leave it after he already had our money. And no, it wasn't fake money. We had real money. So he started reaching and he just, like, was trying to come in the car. Like, he would not get off of Shay. So I did shoot him. How many times? I don't know. But I know it was like three. He was actually sitting behind Shay no. in, in the back seat. No, it wasn't inside my car at all. It was that, that fast, that fast. Like Dude. that's why I, I didn't understand why he was calling from private, and then I got sketchy. And then when he came up to the car, he had his hood on. We had never seen him before. And then Shay gave him money, gave him weed. Then he reached back and tried to grab me. And so Shay was like fighting and fighting. And I was like, just let her go, just let her go. So then I was trying to pull off and he would let her go. So I shot him. And it was like a warning shot, like let her go. And he was coming further into the car. Like he was coming at me. And then I shot him like again. And then he just fell. Free. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, you can't. Hey, I know you think that it's over. It is. No, baby. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hey, I know you, I talked to you earlier, you are not, uh, y'all ain't a group of girls that go around murdering people. But I, I, it doesn't matter anymore. All that matters is that I did it. It doesn't matter that it was an accident. It doesn't matter that he tried to snatch anything back. All that matters is that I did it. Call y'all. Period. Why didn't you call no, because we scared. young, it's the first like I don't have a record. They don't have a record. That's I, even all the better. Though. I've never ever in my life been close to anything. So when he grabbed Shay Nick, I panicked. I did because I was like, maybe she was a dude. Yeah, because Shay got a low haircut, so I feel like he thought she was a dude, but he knew she was a girl. And I don't know if he just wanted his weed and his money because I see on the picture he had more weed, and it was just like. Alright, look at here. Like it really don't matter because either way, 
I have to go sit in jail and fight for my life every day. Mm-hmm. And people are going to try to kill me. People are going to come after my family. People are already writing me. This is why people don't tell y'all stuff in Pensacola because they're scared. I knew y'all was coming. I wasn't gonna run. I wasn't gonna hide because I it wasn't purposely. My little sister just got shot in December. Here? Yes. Where's your sister? Victoria. Where was happened? On Michael Drive. In December? This past December? Mm-hmm. No, she didn't pass away, did she? No. Where was she shot at? In her arm. Who was shot? Her ex boyfriend. Ah, yes. Yes. They made her rest on that. Yeah, so, yes. And he's still roaming the streets. Yes. They let him right out. Now, she's younger than you, ain't she? Yeah. And yes, she's so. pregnant, so. Well, they, they got to give you a bond, dear. I mean, I mean, if you make the bond, you make the bond. But we got other people that's out here that's, that's killed people that's out on bond, roaming the street. That's just the way it is, you know? It's just the same thing. Still, I just feel like my life is not, like, never be the same. I've never been, like, all I ever did was just take care of kids and old people. And, and for granted. That's all be. I want to do. Like, your, your life, you're right. Your life would not be the same. No. But it's not over. It it's is. not. It's not over. It's not. By any means. Not not at 20 years old. Really. It's not. It really isn't, baby. Not at all. So, to, to help understand what happened to support your story about the way he started doing her, if you look here at his little sketch, was it was that say? Rear? Rear. That's right. in front of your car. So, that would be you. Passenger is Shay. Mm-hmm. Where where's Keema? In a bag behind Shay. Oh, on this behind side. Shay? Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, so he came around on this side of the car. Well, yeah, he came was... from the front, from the other street. What well, y'all y'all were on the trip? To, oh, yeah, yeah, he came straight to Shay side. Yeah, I, I guess he thought she was a dude. Okay, but Shay, Shay sitting here, right in the passenger side. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is Shay, and this is you. And where did you say that Kima's at? In the back, behind Shay. So Kima's sitting here. Mm-hmm. Okay, and this spot here is open. Mm-hmm. When he walked up, he walked up from the front. Mm-hmm. And he did he walk directly to Shay? He walked directely to Shay. Like okay. he thought she was a dude. Like This is Edison. Yeah. Right here. This is Trent right here. Mm-hmm. So you tell me. Where you where this where this occurred? Where did he meet y'all at? Where would y'all contact you? Contact you on Trenton? Yeah. Okay. And he just walked like walked right up out yeah. of nowhere. And, and met then you out there. when he walked, when he seen the car, like he flipped his hood on and he kind of had his head down. So I was really like already panicking again. Like this, I don't really have no good feeling. Like why he walking like that? And then it was just that fast, like just that fast. Okay. And so when he walked up to Shay, he gave her. Yes. She gave you the, or he gave her the, the weed, or the, or she gave him the money right off and yeah. they exchanged. Yeah. And she, then what it was happened? like just like a handshake, hey, like yeah. And then I was getting ready to like put my car in and drive, and he just like, like reached back in the car like at her, and so. So he reached I through looked, the window. Yeah. He that's how. That's and that's door. how the window. The window didn't get broke from the shot. He broke it then, like. I don't know. Did what he reach him through the window on your side? No, the, no. no he was sorry. never inside the car. This was all outside the car. Like, I don't let nobody get in my car. <laughs> so so he, he comes over here at some point? Yeah. He, when he walked up from Edison, he walked straight to Shay. Okay. Yeah, he comes Edison. Yeah, he came Trent, in front up to of her us. side. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I got you. And then it's like, um, I guess he had a sitting in, somebody, in front of somebody's house or just sitting right there mm-hmm. or whatever. So then when they did the transaction, he just like it was, he just launched back in the car. Like, like Trying to grab his yeah. Well, and she, she did say she said I busted him. She, she said, did. <laughs> she was like fighting him and she was like, What the fuck? And I was looking and I was looking and then he was like, Fuck that, fuck that. And he got to reach and I was just like and then he still like he just he was like fighting, like he he knew he was wrong, but he he wouldn't let her go. Like and then he got further in the car. Like yanking on the like wheel, like, the yes. After he was shot the first time, 
So it was like a warning, like, just let her go, bro. Like, what the fuck? Do you, do you like, think you hit him the first time you shot? Yeah, like right here. Because you saw it? Yeah. Did you, you shot across her and, uh, like, across where she's sitting? I, I right. could have killed her. Right-handed or left-handed? Right. So you reached across her this way, and he's trying to come in the window. He was in you, the window. And you trying to back away like this? And you yeah, we, well, we, yeah, we was, like, leaning, like, <laughs> yeah. All right. And so then when you shot him, what did he do? He was still trying to fight her. He was still trying to take his weed. And so then what happens? He was still trying to fight her. I shot him two more times, and then he left. Okay. And what happened with him? Are I you? don't know. I so, just felt like he was trying to kill my cousin. When you smashed off, was he still kind of hanging on a little bit to the car and, and fell? Mm-hmm. Like, he was like, he was still basically like really hanging on the shape. Mm-hmm. And then after the third shot, he just let go. Like, I didn't really pay attention to see how he fell or where he fell at. I was just like, damn, like, he's going to kill one of us. What did, what did Shay and Kima say? Nothing. That was like, I mean, well, they said, God damn, you killed him or you shot him or whatever. No, it was all like, just like, we just start praying. Like, what the fuck? Like, that was not supposed to happen. Like, that was just crazy. It was like, and so we didn't you- understand why he was launching back in the window. Like, you knew. And then that's why I told y'all, like, that's why I was scared at first to tell y'all when we went on train because when he was calling from private, I was just like, why is he calling back from private? Because he's calling on the app. I don't know. That's because he was calling from an app. Yeah, I so the number he gave us, we app. called, and then she, he called back, and then he just, he was like calling from private, and then I was like, I don't, no, I don't think we should go. And he was like, no, nah, we, we want to smoke, so we'll go anyway. <laughs> Whose idea was it to carry the gun? Me. Did the girls know you had the gun with you? No. They didn't? You sure? If they did, they must have seen me, but I didn't tell them. Where did you have it at? Like, kind of like under my phone. Like, you wouldn't be able to tell at nighttime. But you had it in your hand already? No. I didn't have it, like, on the intent to kill, like. My phone be under like my dashboard and I had it in my lap and the gun was on the floor. That's why when he, when they was like fighting, I didn't instantly like, oh, boom, 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 finna kill you. Like, it was like a panic. Like, is he gonna stop? Is he gonna let go? Like, fight back? And he, he didn't wanna let go. And I was like, fidgeting then. Like, what, what the fuck? Like, yeah. All right. So then y'all, once the incident occurred and you left and you went, what? Where'd you go? Um, How'd y'all get out of there? Y'all went straight on. I don't. Trenton. I really honestly don't remember because you know the ears you is like ringing. Oh yeah. And I Sound just mm, that's all you hear. I just left back out by fast lane. Mm-hmm. So you went back out by Fairfield and Ruby and went back home. Mm-hmm. All right. When you get home, what takes place then? Nothing really. Well, it was everybody was just like. Well, it can't just be quiet, everything was chill. Like, I mean, you. Well, I know y'all learned you of him. You wouldn't believe it, though. It was very chill. I know y'all learned just of him dying. Like on the beating. inside, like, like I just knew, like. But you heard, you saw on social media. Yeah, because everybody, everybody was said, alive. By that time. Yeah, because yeah, they were alive on then, the scene. And then when uh, it was on Facebook, and then I seen somebody's like, damn, they just smoked it. And I was like, oh, my God, y'all. I think the boy did. And then we just was like quiet. Like, when did it come time to wipe the car down? My car, crazily, the early that day I was wiping it down. I know like, your car ain't all that clean. Your car it ain't. ain't <laughs> it's not that clean. It's like my seats was always messy. I've always been trying to get them detailed, but I was already wiping it down that day. So then, like, I don't even, I mean, I ain't even do it that night. It's just like, I really wasn't, because it wasn't my intention. It's like, that stuff you have prepared when well, you know you're going to go do something. Like, I don't have shit in my house to clean up a murder scene. I don't know who does, unless it's somebody that's prepared themselves to do it. Mm-hmm. So I just, like, I don't know. We just prayed, really, the majority of the night. We sat there and just was waiting on days to pass. Hey, I appreciate you being honest. Can you hear me? I really, really do. 
I know it sucks, but ultimately you did the right thing. Yeah. It's gonna be a little bit. Uh, no. You might as well eat your eat your stuff there and, and drink your water. It's gonna be a minute, okay? Like how long? It'll be a little while, cause probably at least an hour. But we gonna, we'll make sure you get fed. What's going on, Tammy? I'm going to jail. I love y'all. Yeah. What? I love y'all. What you mean? We can't and Shay all going. What? We all going. Me came my and say. Huh? Me came my and say. In one of the other interrogation rooms. Huh? In one of the other interrogation rooms. No. Why? Mom, uh, is they like. Well, it's too late. Yes, it is. I already confessed to it. Because I guess Dion, when he got pulled over today, yes. I'm I'm going to jail. It doesn't matter. You told them that. You told them that I told you and my mama that I killed that boy. That's the first thing they said when they came in here. It don't matter, D. It don't matter. But listen, I know. Yep, I know. Well, listen, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. Shay and Kima, I, listen, Shay and Kima already was shook the fuck up. Shay already... Well, they already told on me. Everybody finger pointed on me. My car has GPS on it. It really didn't matter. It all pointed to me. Only reason I was wrong. Yes, I did. Yes. Because they already told on me. Yes, they did. Kima just came in here, babe. Kima, they found Kima already. She wasn't hiding. I'll take a picture for you if you want me to. I can send you a picture. Right, so she was sentenced to 15 years in prison, right? When she told her mother, I felt that. I felt her mother's pain. When she was saying, what? What? Who? Her mother's heart sank. I'm not going to lie, I wish I was there just to hug her. Her mother, not this silly cow, her mother. Um, now, in terms of what happened to Dion, Ryan, Shailen, and Kima, well, you're going to have to wait to find out. Either way, what do you think about 15 years? I don't think this was premeditated. I do not think it was intentional. But why are you taking a gun in the first place anyway? Bro, you're just going to buy weed. You bought weed plenty of times, as you mentioned. Over marijuana? Come on, man. I mean, the guy was saying, you're 20 years old, you got your whole life ahead of you. Imagine being this fucking stupid. Like, if that's my son or my daughter, I'll give him a slap. How brain dead are you? Oh, well. Anyway, I'll be back in about a week or so with the other interrogations. Thanks for watching.